1963, my dad caught this baseball at a Cardinals game and one of his neighbors who worked for the Cardinals organization had it signed by the entire Cardinals organization. This was Stan Musial's last year. Bob Gibson was also on the team. My dad coached every baseball team that I ever played on from when I started playing t-ball up through when I started playing high school in American Legion. My dad passed away in 2005, seven days before my 30th birthday. This week's vlog is about teamwork and high-performing teams. We're heading to Jupiter, Florida for the 2017 St. Louis Cardinals Fantasy Camp. Play ball. So it's Friday morning, we've got tryouts, and we're heading over to the park. I mean, look at the schedule. This thing is, let's go to the ballpark. So we just finished uh, tryouts and practice. Awesome, live batting practice from Scott and Terry. They're in the process of drafting our teams. World champion Cardinals. It's a lot of world championships. And uh, we're drafting the teams and this afternoon we start we start our baseball games. So uh, didn't pull anything, got the ball on the bat, scooped up some ground balls, it was a ton of fun. All right, so we're going to uh, get the official photos. Got my whites on. So I'm team five, Bob Tewksbury's my coach. The players are Ray Langford and Jason Simontachi. Jason Simontachi, for the record, has the best name in the history of St. Louis Cardinal baseball. I mean, Simon Tanchi, it's freaking awesome. Um, so uh, let's see how uh, how this goes. We're going to go play our games. We're on field four. Game's going on. Um, playing first base. We've had a couple put outs, still 0 0, and uh, we're in the heading into the bottom of the second inning. The Bob Tewksbury. We won. Uh, five to four was a heck of a game. I don't know if you can see this. I got absolutely <laughs> smacked in the mouth with a foul ball. So I, uh, I'm gonna go get some ice. I fouled a baseball off of my face. Uh, but I'm okay, teeth are fine, small laceration. Trainer looked at me. Don't worry, mom, all's well. It's day two, um, a little stiff this morning. Upper lip is uh, still a little swollen, but uh, no worse for the wear. Um, We've got uh, apparently three games today. We were supposed to play two games today, two games tomorrow, and then this, there's the championship on Sunday, but it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so we're gonna play three games. There's seven inning games, but they're gonna play seven, five, and five, apparently. We won five to four, as I had mentioned, and the lesson is picking up your teammates. We, unbelievably, for a bunch of old man baseball, only had two errors, and a couple of them were at critical times, and what happened, in, that led to our win was we picked up our teammates. The, our pitcher, Cullen, did a fantastic job pitching out of some jams. And if you're on a team, and on a high-performing team, and you know if somebody makes a mistake that you don't give them a hard time for it, and you pick them up and you try even harder to make that team success, succeed, then the whole team, the whole boat's gonna rise. The whole team's gonna do better. All right, this is our first game at Roger Dean Stadium. This is what I came for. Uh, 
There, now it is. Two to one and a nail biter. I mean, pitchers are throwing hard. Relatively clean game. I think again, maybe two or three errors, um, but a two to one game, which apparently is pretty unheard of down here. All right, game three. We just won. We're three and zero. Oh. It was seven to three on the board. Got a hit. Um, an RBI. Actually, I went one for one, so I'm because I got a sacrifice. But uh, anyway, absolutely awesome. Um, I think the the the, the name of the game leadership lesson is take care of your teammates man we've had a torn uh, hamstring and a torn uh, tricep let me go back in the dugout all right so we're heading into game four whoever wins this game we're both three and oh unfortunately what appear to be the two best teams with undefeated records we're both in the same division so Whoever wins this game goes to the World Series. Whoever loses, playing the 3-4 game tomorrow. Leadership lesson number X. Speak positive words of encouragement to your team. You know, that's just such a nature, so natural in baseball, where everybody's encouraging everybody else, you know, and really just words of positive encouragement are key to leadership and teamwork. I'm sore as hell. Holy cow. But uh, we're going to suck it up. I have... Uh, moved from first base to third base. Ray Langford hurt his knee. So they moved me over to third base. And uh, I can sort of get the ball to Ray from third. But uh, had uh, two put outs and uh, two assists in the last game of third. It's a blast. So let's go play some baseball. All right, all right. Let's do it. We lost. We lost four to three. I'll spill. I'll spare you from the the details, but I will tell you that I uh, I did get a game ball. I uh, it says uh, Doug loved you on my team, Bob Tewksbury. So I had an RBI single. We lost four to three, and uh, we will not be playing in the championship game, even though our record we had two more wins than the other team who's playing in the championship game, but that's the way it works. Those are the rules, and we lost. And um, I think there's another leadership lesson, which is, you know, get over it. I'm not over it yet. It's okay to like to win. Tomorrow we play in the third and fourth game, and you know, that's the key to a high-performing team, is you just, you move on, you get over it, and uh, you play the next game. And so, I'm gonna go down to dinner, I'm gonna have another ice-cold, frosty Budweiser. God, am I sore. Oh my God. Oh, I was trying to explain to the younger guys the difference between 
40 and 30. And then one of the guys is like 65 and he told me I was a total sissy. But he's right. Uh, I'm here with uh, Kyle McClellan, whose uh, team just beat us to make it to the World Series championship of the camp. You know, your experience with the Cardinals, what was the best uh, team that you were on with the Cardinals? And as you think about the high-performing teams that you worked with, and what were the keys to uh, to being on a high-performing team? Well, I think when you talk about high-performing teams and, and as an individual side, it comes down to consistency. And that's what helps you get from the minor leagues to the major league level. And then when you get to the major league level, the teams that win. Uh, I was a part of a World Series team in 2011, part of uh, two other playoff teams. They all have a camaraderie. They have a, a something that you can't explain to somebody that bond, else. Yeah. That. And, it, and it starts with clubhouse guys. It starts with leadership. And, and look, there's organizations that are winning organizations. And they continue to win year in and year out because it comes from the top. It comes from ownership. It comes from management. And that trickles down to the players. Even the, the lesson that I was giving to my viewers is you got to get over it too. So I, I, I'm still I'm still hurting from that loss, my friend. Uh, you, <laughs> you played very well, so yeah. congratulations. Hey, but there's another I'm gonna game get, tomorrow. You got to get over it. There is another That's game right. tomorrow. That's it's right. for third place, but uh, we're still gonna plan it. All right, thank you very <laughs> yep, much. No problem. Man. Yeah, Dave and I were teammates three different times. Twice with the Cardinals and once with the White Sox. Yes. Uh, you were a part of uh, some uh, winning teams, including the '82 World Championship team. What, what, what are some things about that that uh, you think about as it relates to leadership? First and foremost, I think Whitey Herzog. He's our leader, and he's the only manager I've ever played for that the players didn't second guess. And I think that's a big part of it. Secondly, he let us be ourselves. And he let us grow and learn and make our mistakes and didn't punish us if we made a mistake. And I, th I think that's the biggest thing that he did. And he always said, you know, I'm going to treat you like I want to be treated myself. And that, that was part C that made us as great as we were. My feeling about being with Whitey, and I agree with Dave as far as Whitey as a ter terrific leader, was that he felt that every part of the machine was valuable. I mean, he had, he had this amazing ability to think that a, a pitcher that got one guy out a week as a reliever was important to the success, and that didn't happen, it all didn't work together. So he kind of really believed in kind of the, the, the sum of the parts, and uh, he didn't just say that, he practiced it. I mean, But no, it's because I work on it every day. I work on it every day. I didn't practice, I took it seriously. I was never asked about it. We got Ray Langford here. How's it going, my man? Ray, you've been on some uh, pretty incredible teams. I mean, what, what are uh, you know some of the keys to success, or what was that like key element or key thing that that you've seen um, with with, high, with some of the high performing teams that you've been on? Oh, one thing is consistency. You know, with putting the ball in play, moving runners over, um, cutting down on errors, things like that help win ball games. The little things. A lot of people think you know. Of course, if you hit home runs, that kind of stuff you want to get. But you went more by playing solid defense, moving runners over, get them in, stuff like that. So those are a big part of the game. Consistency, also. got exactly. it. No pressure. Come on, Jeff. There you go. Run it out. Run it out. Two more. Three more. Jake picked me up. I grounded out. Jake got a base hit off the screen. Automatic base hit. Good job, guys. Nice job picking me up. Again. Again. So I'm at the Palm Beach Airport. Um, fantastic week at Fantasy Camp. 
just what a great experience bonding with former players um, great lessons on leadership and, and teamwork and teaming and consistency and um, just you know lot, lots of lots of great lessons this week but uh, it's a fantastic week thanks for tuning in subscribe below and tune in next week where we're going to be going to Los Angeles, Portland, and then back to Chicago for uh, another exciting week of the Doug McConey vlog. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week.